start, you will need five to 10 unannealed brass cases. For testing purpose, do not re annealed a warm, just annealed brass case for most accurate results. Next, we will determine which one of these holes on the multi-caliber disc we will use. So we will start with the smallest one, and this is a 270. This one will not fit. The second largest one fits just about right with a little bit of space. This one will work, but it's a little tight. I will probably go with the third one to give it a little, a little more space. Next, we will set the height. Okay, now let's turn on the machine. Let's turn on the annealing function. Put the setting all the way to the lowest, a zero, and make sure that the water pump is currently in the off position. Cycle 10 cases at setting 75, just to ensure that it's feeding reliably. Now that we function tested and ensure the machine is feeding reliably, we're going to do a live test and measure the time it takes to properly anneal the specific case that you are going to anneal. And for the testing purpose, you would want to feed a single case one at a time onto the case feeder. Now let's turn the machine on, but before we turn on the machine, again, let's have it at setting zero. Let's turn on the annealing function. But this time, let's turn on the water pump. So once we turn on the water pump, the, the heating coil is now active. Let's let it run for a few seconds. And let's be one case here. And we would recommend starting, starting high and going lower, right? Because it's okay to under anneal we rather under anneal than over anneal. So you move the arm to the side, right? That's how you measure your case, not from looking from the top or side or the bottom. You move the arm to the side. Now, if you look at the three coil, the coil on the very top, the first coil, top being number one, the bottom being number four. The heat zone is between the top three coils. The bottom coil produced little to no heat, um, and the show you know ideally when we anneal, we want to anneal the neck and down to the shoulder. And for shorter cases like this one, six BR, we obviously has have to be cautious for the heat not to migrate to the base. The higher you go, the hotter it gets, right? And so you would just use your judgment with the heat zone being in the first three coils. For this case, this is likely where I would position it, somewhere around here, but just making sure it's above the second coil. Uh, it's above the first coil because that's where the heat zone is. If you put it below, then your shoulder is likely not going to get a proper anneal. Now, another tip is when selecting this hole. I just can't emphasize this enough. Bigger hole, they will just fall straight in very smoothly. But on a smaller hole that may fit just right, what will happen is as it falls through here, it drops. This case may spin a little and rattle its way in. That will delay the time that it gets a kneel and you may get an uneven anneal. So make sure you you know, pick, select the right hole, not too big, not too small, the one in the middle, right? Give it some room, make sure it falls straight through, it's not leaning heavily towards one way, and that's the correct one. Okay now, so this part is extremely important. Number one, by default, our unit is shipped with the induction coil all the way up, okay? You can adjust them slightly by moving them down if necessary, um, right? So 
and very slightly left and right. If you need, if you find that the case is not center, it may be moved in transit, but the coil uh, to better support shorter cases like 6BR, um, but although I personally don't find it necessary, uh, you can make minor adjustments and get it exactly how you want it. Once you have the setting locked in, turn the machine back on, the setting will remain at where it's last set, which is 76 or 75, wherever you want it. Um, make sure everything's turned on and just let the machine go. If you are familiar with our machine, you have seen this. This also works. This is the short case fee ramp uh, for shorter cases on a two and one is also the short case fee ramp for the induction annealer. You will put this piece simply right here. Okay. And now, as you can see, as it comes down, it hits it. Right. Now this this provides the the ramp the clearance for it to now hit the lip of these shorter cases like 300 black hour 6br and so on uh, and allow proper feeding of the shorter cases okay just like that okay. there you go